In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, as we enter in the presence of the Lord, as we have decided to spend this time with the Lord this morning, let us begin by thanking the Lord for all the good things, for all the blessings, all the graces that He has given us all through our life. But sometimes we see that because of our busy schedule or because of the activities that we are involved in, we sometimes fail to recognize all these graces that the Lord has given us. And therefore, today in a very special way, let us recognize those graces. Some of these blessings, which may appear to be quite small, quite insignificant, nonetheless we see play a very significant role in our lives. And therefore, let us close our eyes at this moment and let us praise the Lord. Let us thank Him for the gift of this day. He has woken us up this morning. He has given us good health of mind and body. He has protected us all through the night. And for this, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we also thank you for the various gifts, the various talents that you have given us, talents which we may use for the benefit of others or which we may use to grow and become better individuals. Lord, we also thank you for the gift of people in our lives. We thank you for our family members, friends, relatives, near and dear ones, and all those who play a very important role in our lives. On many occasions we have seen that it is because of the hard work, dedication of these individuals that we have developed and we have grown in our lives. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for these people, for these individuals who have dedicated their time and effort and have helped us become better individuals. We also thank you, Lord, for the opportunities that you have given us. We also thank you for the experiences. There have been good experiences which we would want to cherish and remember always. But there have always been also the experiences that have taught us many things. And therefore, Lord, we thank you for all these not so good, not so pleasant experiences, because they too have helped us to grow in various ways. And Lord, we also thank you for all the good things and the blessings that you continue to shower on us at every moment of our lives. Lord, you have always kept us in your love. At every moment, your gaze is upon us. You are there constantly guiding and protecting us. And therefore, Lord, for this, we thank you, we praise you, and we glorify you. And Lord, as we gather together in worship to offer this morning offering, we pray that this day may be a day of joy and blessings in your name. That whatever we do today, you may be there to guide us and protect us. And therefore, my dear friends, today we shall reflect and meditate on Psalm 54. And as usual, we shall have a general overview of the psalm and then we shall go into the details. Now, Psalm 54 is a prayer of lament that is written by David. And here he is asking for God's help and protection against his enemies. Now, the psalm is structured in three parts. First, we have an introductory plea for God's help, which can be found in verses 1 and 3. Then you have a description of David's enemies and his trust in God's protection, which we will find in verses 4 to 5. 
and then you have a final statement of praise and confidence in God's deliverance which can be found in verses 6 to 7 and therefore overall looking at Psalm 54 we see that it expresses David's plea for God's help and thus David is also asking God to give him his protection against his enemies and here we can also see the trust that David has in God's faithfulness and protection. Now we see that David contrasts God's faithfulness with the deceitfulness of his enemies and therefore he takes refuge in God's name knowing that he will be protected. And here we see that the psalm emphasizes the importance of turning to God in times of trouble, of having faith and trust in the Lord and at the same time the hope and confidence that comes in trusting in God's deliverance. And therefore verse 1 of the psalm begins with David's plea for God's help, asking God to save him by his name and vindicate him by his might. And here we see that David is in distress and he feels helpless against his enemies. And then we see that he turns to God for help. Now verse 2 describes David's enemies and how are they described? They are described as strangers and violent men who seek his life. Now these enemies of David are not named but they are likely to be associated with the time when David was fleeing from King Saul. And therefore David notes that these enemies do not set God before them, meaning that they do not fear God or acknowledge his sovereignty. And therefore this is a good message for us also when we are faced with difficulties, when we have difficult moments in our lives, we can always turn to God who is ever willing to protect us. Now verse 3 continues with David's plea for God's help and here we see that David is asking God to hear his prayer and give ear to his word. David trusts in God's faithfulness and in his ability to answer prayers. And here we also see that David asks for God's mercy and grace in time of need. Verse 4 will then begin the second part of the psalm in which David describes his enemies and his trust in God's protection. David notes that God is his helper and that he has always been sustained by God's power. Now David will contrast God's faithfulness with the deceitfulness of his enemies. And here we see that David sees his enemies as those who seek to harm him even though he has done them nothing wrong. Sometimes we too may have the same feeling. We have done everything right but still there are people who persecute us, people who do evil against us. And in this time we can relate to David and see how he went about. Verse 5 continues with David's trust in God's protection noting that God will deal with his enemies and he will destroy them in faithfulness. David trusts in God's deliverance and takes refuge in his name knowing that God will protect him from his enemies. And therefore verse 6 now will begin the final section of the psalm in which David expresses his confidence in God's deliverance and therefore he gives thanks to God for his help. David note that God has delivered him from every trouble and therefore he will look with satisfaction on his enemy's downfall. And verse 7 will conclude the psalm with a statement of praise and confidence in God's deliverance. David declares that he will freely offer sacrifices to God and he will give thanks to God for his name, knowing that God has delivered him from all his troubles. And therefore, my dear friends, as we reflect 
on Psalm 54 as we allow the psalm to sink in, to take root in us. Let us now focus our attention on a particular thought or a particular verse that would have touched us. And let us remain with that verse, let us remain with that thought, allowing the Lord to guide us, allowing the Lord to show us what is the right path that he has chosen for us. And therefore, my dear friends, as we continue to reflect on this psalm, let us ask the Lord to be with us, guide us and show us the way. And we ask him that throughout today's day that he may be with us, helping us, guiding our steps, helping us to do his will and thus help him in building the kingdom of God. Amen. And now we shall spend a few moments in silence, reflecting on this, asking the Lord to guide us, to show us that He is there with us even in our moments of trials and difficulties. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings on this day for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my relatives and friends, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father. Amen. Let us pray for the intentions of the Holy Father for the month of September for people living on the margins. We pray for those persons living on the margins of society in inhumane life conditions. May they not be overlooked by institutions and never considered of lesser importance. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Act of Contrition O my God, 
I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments, but most of all because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Prayer to the Holy Spirit Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created, and you will renew the face of the earth. Lord, by the light of the Holy Spirit, you have taught the hearts of your faithful. In the same Spirit, help us to relish what is right and always rejoice in your consolation. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for Priests Gracious and loving God, we thank you for the gift of our priests. Through them, we experience your presence in the sacraments. Help our priests to be strong in their vocation. Set their souls on fire with love for your people. Grant them the wisdom, understanding and strength they need to follow in the footsteps of Jesus. Inspire them with the vision of your kingdom. Give them the words they need to spread the gospel. Allow them to experience joy in their ministry. Help them to become instruments of your divine grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns as our eternal priest. Amen. The Breastplate of Saint Patrick I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through a belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christ with me Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me. Christ in the mouth of every man who speaks of me. Christ in the eye that sees me. Christ in the ear that hears me. Amen. The Angelus, the angel of the Lord declared to Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary! Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done to me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit 
of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen and the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us Hail Mary full of grace the Lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb Jesus Holy Mary mother of God pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death amen pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray pour forth we beseech thee o lord thy grace into our hearts that we to whom the incarnation of christ thy son was made known by the message of an angel may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same christ our lord amen prayer for saint joseph's protection o saint joseph whose protection is so great so prompt so strong before the throne of god i place in you all my interests and desires o saint joseph do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine son all spiritual blessings through jesus christ our lord so that having engaged here below your heavenly power i may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers o saint joseph i never weary contemplating you and jesus asleep in your arms i dare not approach while he reposes near your heart press him in my name and kiss his fine head for me and ask him to return the kiss when i draw my dying breath saint joseph patron of departing souls pray for me amen prayer of thanksgiving god of all blessings source of all life giver of all grace we thank you for the gift of life for the breath that sustains life for the food of this earth that nurtures life for the love of family and friends without which there would be no life we thank you for the mystery of creation for the beauty that the eye can see for the joy that the ear may hear for the unknown that we cannot behold filling the universe with wonder for the expanse of space that draws us beyond the definitions of ourselves we thank you for setting us in communities for families who nurture our becoming for friends who love us by choice for companions at work who share our burdens and daily tasks for strangers who welcome us into their midst for people from other lands who call us to grow in understanding for children who lighten our moments with delight for the unborn who offer us hope for the future 
we thank you for this day for life and one more day to love for opportunity and one more day to work for justice and peace for neighbors and one more person to love and by whom be loved for your grace and one more experience of your presence for your promise to be with us to be our god and to give salvation for these and all blessings we give you thanks eternal loving god through jesus christ we pray amen prayer to the garden angel angel of god my guardian dear to whom god's love commits me here ever this day be at my side to light and guard rule and guide amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and ever shall be world without end amen litany to mary the loreto litany lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy on us Lord have mercy on us Christ hear us Christ graciously hear us God the Father of heaven have mercy on us God the Son redeemer of the world have mercy on us God the Holy Spirit have mercy on us Holy Trinity one God have mercy on us Holy Mary pray for us Holy Mother of God pray for us Holy Virgin of virgins pray for us Mother of Christ pray for us Mother of the Church pray for us Mother of mercy pray for us Mother of divine grace pray for us Mother of hope pray for us Mother most pure pray for us Mother most chaste pray for us Mother inviolate pray for us Mother undefiled pray for us Mother 
most amiable pray for us mother admirable pray for us mother of good counsel pray for us mother of our creator pray for us mother of our savior pray for us virgin most prudent pray for us virgin most venerable pray for us virgin most renowned pray for us virgin most powerful pray for us virgin most merciful pray for us virgin most faithful pray for us mirror of justice pray for us seat of wisdom pray for us cause of our joy pray for us spiritual vessel pray for us vessel of honor pray for us singular vessel of devotion pray for us mystical rose pray for us ta of david pray for us ta of ivory pray for us house of gold pray for us ark of the covenant pray for us gate of heaven pray for us morning star pray for us health of the sick pray for us refuge of sinners pray for us solace of migrants pray for us comfort of the afflicted pray for us help of christians pray for us queen of angels pray for us queen of patriarchs pray for us queen of prophets pray for us queen of apostles pray for us queen of martyrs pray for us queen of confessors pray for us queen of virgins pray for us queen of all saints pray for us queen conceived without original sin pray for us queen assumed into heaven pray for us queen of the most holy rosary pray for us queen of families pray for us queen of peace pray for us lamp of god who takes away the sins of the world spare us o lord lamp of god who takes away the sins of the world graciously hear us o lord lamp of god who takes away the sins of the world have mercy on us pray for us o holy mother of god that we may be made worthy of the promises of christ let us pray grant we beseech thee o lord god that we your servants may enjoy perpetual health of mind and body and by the glorious intercession of the blessed mary ever virgin may be delivered from present sorrow and obtain eternal joy through christ our lord amen pray to saint michael the archangel for protection saint michael the archangel defend us in battle be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil may god rebuke him we humbly pray and do thou o prince of the heavenly hosts by the power of god 
thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Act of Adoration O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Saint Gertrude Prayer for Souls in Purgatory Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us, and may the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God Rest in peace. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <laughs>